Hi everybody, it's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe, and I wanted to touch base about Foodie Beauty and her recent live streams where she has talked to her subscribers, followers, whatever you want to call them, hate watchers, about her use of her medication called Genumet, and she is on the extended release version. There are two videos which she talks about this medication and we're going to quickly look at those and then we're going to look at some of the problems and the reason why I actually reported this video to Google or YouTube, which is an American company. So let me just get my fair use disclaimers out. Obviously, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you are taking medications like Janumet, I would recommend that you speak with the provider who prescribed that medication to you or speak to the pharmacist who you are getting your medications from. They can be huge sources of knowledge. Again, just a disclaimer, this is just my opinion. And even though I am a registered nurse trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, these are just my opinions and my opinions only. And I am not treating or diagnosing the creator that we're speaking about today. And as always with Chantel, because she is so problematic, anything that she can mention around general health topics, mental health, or any of those things. I just want you to be sensitive because her content does need to have trigger warnings. Okay, so let me just get straight over to this video and play what she says, and then we'll just talk a little bit about how this medication should be prescribed. Meatloaf sandwich, yum. It's the metformin Janumet. Yeah, it's the long-term release one. I don't have a bottle nearby. I take 2,000 milligrams, so that's going to hurt my stomach, but... The salad bowls, they just use the shredded lettuce. Or you found me because of a react. Nice, Capricorn. Thanks for the attention, guys. <laughs> Six years, but only became a member over a year ago. I was always scared to talk on the chats. Oh, no. A lot of people say that sometimes, like, they, ah, I'm a long time viewer, but I never chatted. Okay, let me stop her. Let me get back to more information that she talks about with Jan you met, because I think she might go into this a little bit longer. Um, I think that maybe was it. So she at this point, she's saying that she takes 2,000. Uh, milligrams. Um, but I wanted to put in the word extra because I believe she talks a little bit about more about it here. Here we go. Right here. I'm sorry. Cause we're not really interested in her, your salad bowl girl. So let's hear it from here. Make her big. The two pills. Like I, I was taking extra, but sometimes I do. Yeah. But not very often, but even just the 2000 hurt my stomach. You can get insulin, but they don't, they didn't recommend putting me on it yet. Probably because they would think you would abuse the insulin. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to see how you did with the Janumet, which is supposed to be accompanied with diet and exercise. And the diet that they're recommending is not one that includes copious amounts of fast food and huge amounts of calories and huge amounts of carbs and huge amounts of rice and huge amounts of bread and huge amounts of cheese and just i can continue it's why all of that is wrong in so many ways just so many ways now let's get over to the next one i'm going to share this tab instead again she starts trying to tell her audience something that the doctor prescribed to her to take these extra pills so let's just listen to her real fast here what my sugars were like 24 when i went to the clinic because i didn't take, i wasn't on them hi shelly so yeah i know brenda the shell only hi soda and sadness you don't watch eggs me either i'm feeling a little nauseous but i'll be okay i think i'm gonna test my sugar i know i said i wasn't gonna do it live but <laughs> i right now i don't care what people think about me so but yeah um i'll show you guys my sugar since i've been on my um meds and I ate maybe, what, two, three hours ago, I think it was? When did I eat that KFC? <sighs> oh. I know Teardrop is thinking, oh, no, don't do it. And I'm lazy. I always leave the freaking thing in there. Okay. Well, I can let you know that whichever blood sugar that she did have, it was, it was too high. <laughs> it was over 200 uh, milliliters to a deciliter here as we would look at milligrams to a deciliter sorry as we would look at it here in the united states um i think again she talks a little bit about the doctor um here but she kind of is as you could hear in that first video and that was the one i actually did report that she is doing extra doses and that's not how genumet is prescribed i'm just going to bring up some information about the drug real quick I don't want to get people bored, but I do want people to understand 
that she is doing something that's very wrong. Um, not only due to here in the uh, United States misusing your prescription medications, and that could be taking the dose that's not prescribed, is actually illegal here in the US. And it doesn't matter what type of drug it is, whether it's a controlled substance like an opioid or if it's your Janumet. That is not allowed to take it out of how it's prescribed. Unless, and there is no doctor that would have had her tell them or would have told her to take an extra dose. So, for example, just to show you, uh, if you do want to find good information about a drug that you are taking, you can go to the National Library of Medicine under the NIH and it's the Daily Med. You can put the name of the drug in and you'll find all types of information about this medication. So, a couple of things I just wanted to point out about this drug <laughs> before we go on uh, is the dosing sizes of the drug. And here you can see it's 100 and 1,000, a 50 and a 500, and a 50 and a 1,000 here. Now, if you are taking the, the, the way they recommend it is to obviously start it slowly. And you're supposed to take it once daily with a meal. That's it. And then if you're taking two of them, which it seems that Chantel was taking the two Janumet, and we don't know if she's on the uh, 100 or the 50 of the Cetagliptin, but we know she's taking the 1,000 with the metformin because she said it was a 2,000 dose. You need to take both of those tablets together. You take the tablets together. Taking two. It's nothing about taking three here. That's not how it's prescribed. Now, there is individualized dosing of January extended release on the basis of the patient's current regimen, effectiveness, and tolerability. But they're not going to tell you, oh, yeah, just take an extra dose there. That is Chantel trying to control her blood sugar because she has not been eating correctly and she does not exercise. So she has not accompanied it with any type of diet or exercise. I'm not going to try to get into things that, you know, people don't potentially, but when we're even dosing people with medications in the professional sense, we do need to take a look at everything that they are taking. And one of the reasons why is that it's very important to assess the patient's renal function and what's known as this estimated glomerular filtr filtration rate, the EGR, uh, EGFR, sorry. Um, and these are obviously, if they have any of these fall below this, 30 ml per minute, then to the 1.73 um, meters square, then it's going to be a totally different, <laughs> um, you know, you're going to discontinue that medication. You've got to make sure that you are keeping constant watch of the kidneys because of, of the stress it can put on that. It can lead to metabolic acidosis, which could become ke diabetic ketoacidosis. If you, um, you could get into lactic acidosis. Um, these are some of the warnings that come along with these medications. Pancreatitis, heart failure, acute renal failure, vitamin B12 deficiency. There's all different types of things that are going to happen. You can get adverse reactions um, with these such as diarrhea, upper respiratory tract infection, headaches. Um, there's all types of drug interactions. There's just, there's all types of boxed warnings. This is not, a, you know, this is not the type of medication that you just say to yourself, oh, let me just take an extra. It's an extended release. It, it, the most that you should be prescribed is two, not three. I don't think there was any doctor with their license who would have told her that she was okay taking an extra dose. That is what Foodie has decided to do. And because it's so problematic, the information that she gives, um, that I actually did have to report her today uh, be for prescription drug abuse. And I'll show you why that is why I reported it. Again, you're supposed to take it once daily with a meal. You're supposed to do all these, you know, accompany with diet and exercise. There's all types of warnings, adverse reactions, things about being overdosed, all these different things. This is uh, not a medication that your doctor is just going to say, oh, yeah, take an extra dose. No doctor said that. That is Chantel 
That is Chantelle's mentality. She has no idea what she's talking about. And I would not want anybody to follow her information about this drug and think that if you're on this medication, that you could do the same because that's not the case. It's not the case at all. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to point that out. And obviously, if you've started to have any problems with heart failure, which I wonder with her sometimes, that you're, you need to let the physician know because you, you can have increased shortness of breath, trouble breathing, especially when you lie down, swelling or fluid retention, especially in the feet, ankles, and legs, and then usually fast increase in weight and unusual tiredness. And it could be signs of heart failure. And I've said that she's been looking very swollen recently. Not even type one diabetics can take this medication. It's just really bad. And you're supposed to use that along with diet and exercise to lower blood sugar in adults with type two diabetes. None of these things do we see her do. So let's just go over here real fast. I'm gonna share this tab instead. And here in the United States, any misuse of prescription drugs mean taking a medication in a manner or dose other than prescribed or taking somebody else's prescription, even if for a legitimate medical complaint such as pain. So I would not be surprised that Chantel is misusing her medications. And we've talked about that because she wants to be able to do these mukbangs and she's most likely misusing her drug. And because of this, I did have to do this, um, which was report her. Uh, I put in three reports because of the different places where she spoke about the medication and just said it was pharmaceutical drug abuse because she's misusing her drugs. And that's actually illegal here in the United States. And YouTube is an American company. Anyway, I did just want to keep this quickly um, done just to kind of show why it's concerning. I'm sorry if this wasn't a very exciting video. I do want to thank creators like Garlic Bread who had showed the report that I made about her and uh, the underaged minor who is often found in her chat. That's something I still remember. So I appreciate that very much. I appreciate you all watching. I know that Chantel did do a delete of some videos, especially the one where she was doing an ASMR schooling of her haters, where she basically let everybody know that nobody is any type of medical professional and is unable to speak on these matters. Well, if I need to get a pharmacist to talk about it, who is a doctor of pharmacology, then we can do that, Chantel. That's not a problem. I can get doctors up on here talking. Don't think a pharmacist isn't a doctor because they are. So just want to let you know that <sighs> she is very exhausting. Anyway, guys, <laughs> if you did like this type of content, like I said, I just wanted to make sure this information was put out there. I'm sorry if I jumped around in her videos a little bit. I just wanted to make this quick. But if you did like this type of content and you do want to subscribe to the channel and show me support, I do really appreciate it. I'm still uh, updating my members list since we've had some changes there. But for all of you who are members of the Life and Vibe community, I do appreciate you and you are all recognized and I'm shouting you all out now. So thank you guys for that. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.